Today we are going to be stalking this wildlife pond here. We just had a rain, so it is a little bit dirty. But today our main goal is to be looking for mosquito fish, which are a great uh, fish for any body of water, really, because like their name, they eat mosquito larvae. Otherwise, you'd have a ton of mosquitoes. But today we're going to be looking for those guys. We'll also be looking for things like sticks and plants to put in here. We're going to go ahead and go. I hope we have a great time. So let's go. Alrighty, so we are at this first spot. However, there's a ton of mosquito fish. You can see them all over the place. And just without thinking of recording, I caught like three in just one nest. So we're gonna keep going and hope for the best here. There's so many, it's actually crazy. Did I get any? Yes, I got two. I got two. Here's one. Oh. Maybe. And then the other one's super little. It actually slipped through the holes in my net. Come here, little guy. Actually, you know what? We're gonna let the little guy go. We don't need the little ones. Go free. So I've just caught a massive tadpole here. I don't quite know what to do with him here. Well, let's see. I think I'm gonna release him because I'm pretty sure he's either a leopard frog or a bullfrog tadpole, both of which get utterly massive. So we'll just toss him back. Come a frog for me, bud. Okay, so again, accidentally in a single net, I just caught three of these massive tadpoles. This is crazy. Three, this guy's growing back legs though, three massive tadpoles let's get them back in the water there goes one there goes another one and then here goes the third dang i missed them okay we just caught another fish i think that'll be the last one there I'll go ahead and put him in the bucket, but we've got maybe eight or ten. It's a little muddy in here. I, and I also collected some plants for the pond since we don't really have any, but they're all hiding. Um, but yeah, we're going to call that. We're going to call it. We're not even going to go to the next spot. We already have, like I said, about eight or ten fish. So I'll see you back at home. And there's this weird parasite looking thing in my net. I don't know what that is. What is that? All right, everybody, we are back at home. We have our container with all of our fish in it. That was actually surprisingly quick. I didn't think that we would get everything so fast. And we also got plants too. I didn't take all of the plants. I just took a few, but we'll place those in. And then, did you see that fish just jump? So I'm pretty sure that they float. Actually, no, they don't look like they float. They're sinking. I just thought that I would have some sort of cover for the fish, but there's that. Just a few days after getting fish, I stopped by my local pikes for other reasons when I saw that they had this new, entirely water plant section with water lettuce, hyacinth, even lilies. So I snagged two water lettuce and two water hyacinths, but I will be getting some more of these plants, especially these ones on top, very soon. But now let's go back home. Alrighty, so I am back at home. We have all of our plants right here. We only have two of each two water hyacinths and two water lettuce i'm not trying to stay out here too long because 
mosquitoes are ridiculous but these plants will help them come up to the surface more because they'll have you know a safe spot to go they can hide in the roots and these things grow super duper fast and don't worry if they're like slanted like that right now because Okay, so we have all of our water hyacinth right now into the pond. And the thing about these water hyacinths is they actually do bloom. They do these incredible pretty purple flowers uh, later in the summer, which is super cool. And it's especially the water lettuce, because as you can see, the roots are still falling down because look at how like big and thick and luscious they are. Um, and it's also the hyacinths, but more the lettuce, which will also provide, you know, the fish with shelter from predators, so like birds, snakes, there's also uh, lots of cats around our neighborhood. Um, and it will also provide when these fish begin to breed, it'll also provide them safe place, the fry safe places to hide in the root systems of these plants. But that is all the plants we have right now. And again, like I said, I will be going back to that store to get more plants like to go in the pond and around the pond because right now we we do have some plants but i'd like there to be more but we will definitely be doing that in the next like week or two and because summer's coming up summer's approaching school's about to end for me so i'll have plenty of time this summer to get to work on that but i'll see you guys in the next video